This is a Canon PJ uh, 1080A, which was the first color consumer inkjet printer. It, it uh, might look like a traditional tractor feed printer, but it actually was designed to print on these special rolls of paper, which is coated on one side. You can see how it's slightly shiny compared to the other which helps uh, prevent the ink from uh, bleeding. Uh, I got this printer to use with my Apple Lisa. It's one of the uh, four printers which is supported on that system. One feature this printer has compared to more modern inkjets is there's a lever right here that you have to manually cap and uncap the, uh, the nozzles. So here's the printer with the lid removed and uh, you can see several parts of it. Now here's the motor which drives the print carriage. There's a little encoder strip here. This is the locking lever that I was talking about. You can see when you lift it, it pulls this cap away and now the uh, print head can move freely. There's the electrical connection and these tubes carry the ink from these from the cartridges up to the printhead. I want to uh, show you now the purging process uh, that you have to go through after the machine is sat. Okay, so because air bubbles can get between the ink cartridges and the printhead there's a purging procedure you have to do. This lever, in addition to capping the printhead, also is uh, there's a little pump built in right here, and you can see there are the four tubes here. Those carry waste ink away from the printhead, and hopefully, when I press this, we'll be able to see. A little bubble come through. I just saw one. So now, let's try printing something. So now I'm going to do the built in self test, which you start by holding line feed and turning on the power. You can see that it prints only one row of dots at a time. There are only four nozzles on the print head, one for each color. That makes printing a pretty uh, slow affair. Well, that's enough of that. So now let's try printing something from the Lisa.
finally done. <laughs> I don't know why the black decided not to work at the beginning. Here's one that I had done before, but uh, you can see we do have uh, we do have a color print at a very very slow speed. <laughs> Let's try a little bit of text now. Clicking print now. One interesting thing I noticed about this is that it actually uh, didn't print the italics. Um, the print quality is on par with like a, a lower end dot matrix printer. I think the, the text quality of the image writer is actually better. One last thing I wanted to show was the difference uh, when you print on the special coated paper versus ordinary modern office paper. And you can see how the uh, the text and the, all the lines, everything is much darker because the ink doesn't so in, soak into the uh, paper. Whereas on the uh, modern paper, it uh, you, know, you can actually see almost the individual ink drops versus uh, the coated paper where you do not. I made uh, this document in Lisa Graph, but it's not that simple. You have to actually copy and paste it into Lisa Draw and then change all the colors manually, so it's still kind of a clunky process. Okay, well, uh, thanks for watching this. I know this video has kind of gone on for a while. I hope you found it interesting.